is a crime. This is something that is 100% Preventable. Brenda Goss Andrews retired as a deputy chief with the Detroit Police Department. She's now the president of Noble, the national organization of black law enforcement executives, and she's on a mission. 42% of households throughout the United States have guns in their homes. It's probably more than that right now. And too many times those guns are unsecured and kids are getting killed. Gone five years old. A five and seven year old getting a hold of a handgun, an eight year old girl dead when she was shot in the neck. Police say a 12 year old boy was shot and killed. Now a partnership through Faith and Blue, communities and police coming together to stop the violence. This can be prevented. We can't always prevent the random shooter, but we can prevent our children in this country from being killed in homes with unattended and unsecured guns. Every pastor, every uh, faith leader, every civic community leader ought to be concerned about this. Bishop Edgar Van is the national chaplain for Noble, a Detroit police commissioner for 10 years and one of the city's most prominent pastors at Second Ebenezer Church. I do the counseling, I give the spiritual guidance, I also do the funerals, unfortunately. Victims of uh, senseless and tragic violence. Now Noble is inviting everyone to the church Saturday morning for a candid discussion. They'll also be handing out gun locks and encouraging people to have a conversation about gun safety wherever they are. Children are curious, okay? Nowhere is safe in the house. Get a lock box. Get a lock for your weapon. You have to take responsibility. The community have to take responsibility. In our communities, in our schools, in our churches, in our block clubs, in our families, you know, we can talk about this. We have to do better, and we will do better as we come together to partner. The Detroit Police Department is also holding a number of events this weekend for Faith and Blue. We'll put a link to all of them on our website at fox2detroit.com. In Detroit, I'm Amy Lang, Fox 2 News.